Okay, so to be clear, there was no evidence of widespread uh, a widespread voting among illegal immigrants, <laughs> right, Aaron? But I'm wondering, with that on the table, I'm wondering why this is the strategy out of Mike Johnson and Donald Trump, and what happens if they talk about that for weeks and months going forward? It's twofold. One, it's the political issue that remains for Joe Biden on immigration and the open border. If they continue to sound the alarm on that, that is something that voters have indicated they are very worried about. If you compound that with the fact that Donald Trump still remains very steadfast in wanting to talk about election integrity, this is a marriage for those two in a way that they believe can be politically beneficial. The legislation that they're set to unveil, from my understanding, would force people to be able to have to prove that they are U.S citizens before they can register to vote. And that would not mean a state ID, which, as we know, some states allow people to have IDs if they're citizens or not. So this is just an election, what they would call an election integrity and protection measure to make sure that while the law is only citizens can vote, that this makes sure that that is codified. I, uh, I, I don't know whether this is hypocrisy or irony. I'll have to rely on this. <laughs> All right, we'll this. work on it here. Let me get this right. The, the legal um, constructor of uh, the big lie in Mike Johnson is meeting with Donald Trump, the owner, narrator, and founder of the big <laughs> lie, and they are doing a press conference and they're meeting about election integrity because the Im illegal immigrants, with no evidence that so illegal immigrants are voting so to in be mass forms, yeah, so to, to be clear. we're going to listen to them and we're going to follow them and this is an important issue for them. So they're creating to, to a bill to solve a problem that doesn't exist. So. Say what you said? They're creating, they're, they're pushing a bill to, for a problem that doesn't exist. They're trying to find a solution for something we have no okay, evidence of. That's looking for a problem. So to be clear, <laughs> there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud from 2020. There is no evidence that there will be widespread and voter fraud And in 2020, they were saying that the voter but, fraud was among black people. But, now they've moved that needle and said that it's immigrants. So, but two, <laughs> so a year ago, Democrats weren't talking about the border like they're talking about the border now. Yeah. And so to my question, I just wonder if, if they're going to talk... In, you know, if it's gone from the border to quote unquote migrant crime, and now all of a sudden, Chris, they start framing it in this direction, what happens if the message shifts and in, in, in the narrative shifts in that direction? Well, I think they're putting the chocolate in the peanut butter again. Uh, <laughs> so they've got a very winning issue on the border and uh, migration, uh, the Republicans do. It's, it's their best, it's maybe second only to inflation, right. their very best issue uh, this fall. Donald Trump would like a little extra. It's like Mar-a-Lago. He wants a little gold <laughs> guilt on the edges of it. It's like, but could we make it about the election? Could we make it about stealing the election? Here's what we know. This makes Donald Trump feel good. It makes Donald Trump feel good to tell him that actually, sir, you won the election and it was stolen from you. And it makes core supporters of Donald Trump feel good. Yeah. But it is bad politics in two ways. Number one, it muddles the message with persuadables, and it's not the place that they should be talking about. I, it's two, also hurting them down ballot races. It suppresses Republican turnout. The Republicans lost two seats in Georgia because their voters didn't come out, because Donald Trump was running around Georgia saying the election was stolen, don't bother voting. This is a political mistake. I just want to get your perspective. Yeah, the one thing I will say is here is that I didn't, and maybe I just wasn't listening to the totality of that presser, I didn't hear anybody claim that there was widespread voter fraud amongst the immigration population. What I heard was they are trying to make sure that only U.S. citizens vote. So they were bringing together what is polling-wise one of the strongest Republican okay. messages and to the president one of his biggest... But the concerns. premise of that is that they but are they didn't widespread. Say that. But this he panel, no, but, no, but this panel said that they are saying that. They did not directly say that. So let's... let's because like, let's he's saying it in campaigns across no, the Let's, let's, he let's, didn't let's, announce it today, but they're saying it in states across the country. But he didn't say that. So let's uh, provide a little bit of clarity and fact here. Unless he actually said that, to put those words in somebody's mouth is but, categorically false. So let's just be clear but, here on what was actually said. And they're, what saying, they're saying that they are that they're, doing this they want to make sure because that, they want to avoid They want to avoid And again, yes. to my yes. question, it's why to my question was, what happens if they continue to go on down no, this line? And to, to Chris's point, he it's says it's a, it's a loser. Okay. It's just a All right. By the way. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.